Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a vlog for you today. Um, it's Thursday. I don't even know what the date is. Let's see. September 26th. I'm off work. I have a funeral to go to. Uh, my mom's best friend passed away. The benefit there or the good news, I guess, is they'll be back up in heaven together and causing mischief. But I need to go to her funeral, so I have that. But I have a few hours before I need to leave. Um, my brother's heading here from his job, and then we'll head out. So I needed to run a Target like you do, and I thought I would show you what I got and kind of work you through maybe the next few days. My life is getting ready to blow up schedule-wise. So I have funeral today. I work my part-time job tonight. My full-time job tomorrow, regular, and then tomorrow night I work my part-time job. And then I will be at my part-time job all day Saturday, 12 hours, and all day Sunday. Um, so I won't have a lot of videos to put out at the beginning of next week just because I'm going to be busy. But I thought I would do some vlogging instead. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I ran into Target. I picked up a few things. First and foremost... Temptations, treats for the boys. They love this catnip fever. And by they, I say Wellington, my older cat. He is so fussy. He does not love all the foods. These are the basically the only treats I can get him to eat. And he loves them. Like he goes nuts for these treats. So I got the 16 ounce. I saw a, they have a 30 ounce tub, which is probably going to be my next purchase. But for right now, I just grabbed... This size, they didn't have the big one in this flavor, but that's okay. He'll eat any temptation, but he loves these. So I texted my family the big mumbo jumbo one, and I'm like, uh, he'll love you forever if you get him those for Christmas. So <laughs> he'll probably get treats. Um, but I had to grab some treats because he is out of treats. Um, obviously, I needed some coffee. Duh. Who doesn't need coffee? And my thought is I'll get a venti and then I can make it iced coffee for when we drive to the um, funeral. It's about an hour drive. About well, 45 minutes from here. I needed some cough drops. I'm not sick, um, but my allergies have just been terrible. And I'm doing the two-a-day allergy meds and my throat gets scratchy, so I grab these. These aren't bad. Now, they do sell some that have... Splenda in them, but this is not one. So the sweetener is aspartame, which is not ideal, but I need something. So I figured this is the the best option that I have for a cough drop because I can't, I work on the phones and I can't be choking on the phone. And sometimes I get this cough for my allergy. So I grab those because everybody needs to know about my cough drops. I got this. So cute. Now, this is a... You've been booed, two signs, two favor bags, see back for how to use your boot kit. Um, I'll show you what comes in it. I got this from my cousins. Um, if you remember a couple hauls, I've been buying them. It's just a little bit of Halloween candy. And I had grabbed those big bags, but I feel like they're just too big. So it comes with two treat bags that say you've been booed. So I'll give these to the kids and I'll just put the candy in them. And I feel like the smaller bags will make them look fuller. So I grabbed them those. And then there are two signs here that say we've been booed. And the premise of this, if you have a neighborhood with kids, um, it says you've been booed. Please keep it going. Follow the directions below. Enjoy your treats. Place the you've been booed sign on your front door or window for the rest of the season so neighbors know you've already been booed. Make two copies of your sign and instructions. Pack two gift bags with the sign, instructions, and treats. Secretly deliver to other neighbors that haven't been booed yet. So the premise behind this is um, you fill the bags with treats. You make a copy of your sign to put in the treat bag and then you will leave one of these on your door and you pass this along to the neighbors so you can give treats to your neighbors i don't have the children and all of that um i probably will give this to somebody else the pumpkins or i can re always recraft with pumpkins um but i wanted the bags and they were two for a dollar so it's basically like the dollar tree and um, what i liked about these is they are a nice size for a treat bag for candies 
Um, they have a nice wide bottom, but you can have stuff sticking out. And it just like I said, it makes the kids think they're getting really more than what they are. The bags I already bought, not a problem. I'll use those for Christmas probably because they're fun green. So I grabbed those and they were $1 in the Target dollar spot. And, oh, for work, I have a little work display. I'll have to show you tomorrow. I put the two-tiered tray from Target from last year on my desk, and I found these. This is actually, like, felted wool. I mean, it's not really, but it is. it acts like it or it mimics it, which I love the texture of. And then I got this little burnt orange pumpkin. And these were each a dollar, and I didn't have any pumpkins in my tray, so I thought these would be perfect. And this was in the back. This was not in the dollar spot, but it was still $1. And they had all different ones, but I liked the color. And if you can tell the difference, these with the red come from the Bullseyes Playground. And this one does not, but they're the same price. So I grabbed those. Now I have a mess going on over here. And then I got some socks because I just can't help myself. I seem to have a problem. You'll see at Christmas time, if you follow me on Instagram, um, starting the day after Thanksgiving, I do the 25 days of Christmas socks, and I have a different pair of Christmas socks every day. Um, my Instagram is mycrazylife underscore Lori, and you'll find me there, or the link is below in the um, description box. And yeah, when the holidays, Christmas comes, I post a different pair of socks every morning. It's super fun. Uh, but I found these. Can you please look at these socks? The yellow heel, the stripes. These just scream fall. I love stripes if you haven't noticed. Um, and I love socks. So I grabbed these, which are adorable. And again, they're a dollar. I don't understand why the women's are a dollar and the men's are three dollars. Other than the men's are a little bigger. So I don't get it, but... I just thought these would be perfect, a fun pair of socks. I love getting up in the morning and putting on some fun socks. Um, for Halloween, these are adorable and it says if the shoe fits and they're like little witchy socks. I thought those were adorable. I don't have a lot of Halloween socks. Typically I will wear um, like Halloween socks a week of Halloween. Now fall socks I wear all, as soon as it starts getting cold and I have to wear socks and then Thanksgiving I wear them, you know, but. These are adorable and I love the lime green. And I will say that they are a better quality than the Dollar Tree socks for the same price. Although I do buy Dollar Tree socks too, but these are just slightly a better quality and they tend to last a little longer. And then I had to get these. And it says, just a small town girl living in a football world. I mean, please, please tell me these are not the best socks ever and they're gray oh and they have a little stripey at the top these would be wonderful socking stuffers for a football lover in your life or a journey lover because if you don't know just a small town girl is a journey song and then i'm living in a football world which is appropriate so i grabbed those just to wear because they're fun I need to put all that stuff away now. We're going to pull out. Okay, we're leaving the Target. Sorry for the glare. It's early and it's sunny, but it's only going to be 78 here today, but it's sunny. Oops. So right now I do have a sweater on, a cardigan, but if it gets warm, I can take it off. This is the dress that I ordered from Fashion. It finally came. It took like three weeks. I don't know about all that. Now, we are on our way to my physical therapist oh sorry it's a little jumpy here my physical therapist's office I have been let me see October 4th will be six weeks out of his out of surgery and I started or six months I'm sorry six months out of surgery and I started physical therapy at about six weeks seven weeks so four months let's just say approximately four months I've been at this PT office I love them they are doing wonderful things for me and I will tell you if you're if you go to physical therapy and you're not getting what you need if you're not making progress if things aren't doing well you should just switch offices don't stick it out I didn't realize and I have been to physical therapy before and it really just depends I think on your 
injury, what, um, you know, what you need and what you'll get out of it. But this office that I'm going to is amazing. Um, I hit a wall about a month ago with the stretching. So if you don't know, I had shoulder surgery in April. They cleaned up my rotator cuff, my AC joint, which is not your big joint, but a little one near your collarbone had arthritis. So they cleaned that up. And then the big repair was to my bicep tendon. It had to be moved. And I knew that I had a long haul ahead of me when I came out of surgery. And he told us that this was, you know, not an easy, a, a nice clean little cleanup. It was, it was a big thing. So eight weeks in my sling, not able to move my arm period other than in therapy. And they did a little stretching and some rubbing. And it was, I'm not gonna lie, it was a rough surgery and it was a long haul. But I'm on the other side now, I'm getting much better. But I hit a wall a couple months ago, or about a month ago, and my PT guy, Andrew, love him. He um, did some dry needling. Yeah, hurts like the Dickens, not gonna lie. But immediately, I felt relief in this muscle and tendon. It finally started releasing the stress and the tension. It was so tight, I could not, it was so tight I couldn't make myself move it, if that makes sense. Like I could not physically make myself move this arm to get the stretch I needed to get. They did it and I, you know, there were tears involved. I mean, I didn't like boo hoo, but my eyes watered, it hurt, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, anywho. I love them. So I'm on my way in and I made them, this is one of the bags, I made them some Brookies. And if you don't know what a Brookie is, you are, I'll have to do a video for you, but a Brookie is a brownie and a chocolate chip cookie combined. And now there's like box mixes out and stuff, but I am I do mine traditionally. So I take a muffin pan and I put liners. You definitely want liners. And then I have a cookie scoop portioner. It's like a more, little more than a tablespoon ball. But I put a heaping scoop of brownie batter at the bottom. And here's the ticket. You want frozen cookie dough. So if you're making homemade cookie dough, make a uh, disc of it and freeze that hard. Like overnight. Because you need the brownie to cook before the cookie burns. So I have found, and trust me, I make a lot of these because I use them as a fundraiser. You want the cookie to not burn or overcook before the brownie is cooked enough. So by freezing the cookie and pushing it down in the middle, it all bakes up together, it puffs up, and then it sinks down and you get this like divot in the middle. Let me tell you, put that thing in the microwave to heat it up put a scoop of ice cream on top. Oh my Lord. That is like praiseworthy. I sell those when I start my fundraising in January for Pelotonia next year. That'll be one of my big fundraisers is um, cupcakes and brookies. So that's what I'm doing. I'm headed off there, drop it off. and I will, I've been blobbing on for 13 minutes. <laughs> Alrighty. I'll see what else we can get into. Just check my P.O. box. Oh, I got a lovely card from Mary. I want to thank you so much. <gasps> Look at the kitty. Oh, it's shadowing. Look at the kitty. And she sent me a lovely note. Thank you so much. And this ruler. I'm super excited for my bullet journal. This is the exact size I was looking for. Sometimes the big ones are a little bulky and hard to work with oh and it has the stencils in the middle that is perfect oh, thank you so much i really appreciate it okay i'm gonna get teary-eyed oh, thank you guys for thinking of me i just love my channel i love this community i really should think about doing like a facebook group i'll think about it okay i'll be back okay, we're up on the terrace level which is the third floor we're going to go outside and see the view, maybe. Okay. We're up on the top of the shoe, or the Schottenstein Center. And 
and this is the Ohio State University campus. Yep, and over here, that's the bridge on Lane Avenue, and right over there is where the Buckeyes play at the shoe. Back on C deck. Nobody's up here. There's no seats being sold up here, so I'm just kind of manning the floor, making sure. Here we go. I'll take you in the arena. I'm working Jurassic World. That's what this event is. I think I want to roller skate up here. <laughs> Break my arm, probably. Okay, here we go. They're getting ready to open doors for the guests. Hi guys, I'm home. It's Sunday. I just got back from Aldi. I'm going to put my groceries away, make some coffee, and then I've got a project to finish for a video that's coming up. It's uh, what another Pinterest nail it or fail it. Ugh, I'm going to itch you back. Uh, but I want to show you what I got at Aldi. I'm super excited to try this. It's sous vide pork belly. And what sous vide is, is you cook it in immersed immersed in hot water basically there's a machine that does it now it says heating instructions uh prefer this is a preferred method slice into smaller pieces heat on a medium saucepan over medium heat and brown each piece on all sides until crisp that's probably what i will do when i'm ready to make this and it was 4.49 and it's a 12 ounce piece of uh pork belly so we'll put that in the fridge. I grabbed some more Parmesan cheese. I know it's not the best for me, but you know, whatever. I picked up for breakfast this week, extra sharp cheddar and Swiss. And then I decided for some summer sausage, just as a change up, I'll cut it up into pieces and for the week. And then I got one more Swiss to hand shred to make some Swiss chopples, my waffle chopples to make a Reuben sandwich. Doesn't that sound delicious? It does to me. I got a dozen eggs because I do go through a lot of eggs. And then I got some cream, three containers. I'll sort through the rest in a little bit. And then I have in the crock pot right now a pork roast going that I put some powdered, um, or not powdered, but well, yeah, I guess spices on it. Since I'm not going to do any um, barbecue sauce, because I don't have any barbecue sauce to do, which is okay. If I get it, it needs to be the sugar-free. And I didn't feel like stopping at that store. It's fine. It's powdered barbecue, like a dry rub. And that will go with some um, rice cauliflower with onions and some butter for my side dish to go with that. Ooh. Right now, I've got to clean up this kitchen. And then we're going to go upstairs. Oh, and I got pork rinds. And the spice I use is some Dax spices. It doesn't have any salt in it, so if you have a sodium issue, but it is a little spicy, which I like. It's barbecue queen. And does it say what's in it? Paprika, garlic, ancha peppers, mustard, black pepper, spices, celery. It has a lot of spices in it, which I love. But if you don't like a heavy spice, then you're not gonna like it. It does have some heat, but no sodium in it. And now I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee 
I don't know if I have allergies going on or if I have a cold coming on. Who knows? I feel like I've been struggle busting with these allergies for some time now. And then I want to put the dishes or just a couple in my sink that need to get put away. Uh, we're going to come down here later and I'm going to show you how to make the rice, but we're going to make a keto caramel sauce. Caramel, caramel, however you pronounce it. Sauce. Um, oh, well, the other seasoning I use is 33rd and Galena chicken and pork rub. I got this from Penzi's Spice Company. And the pork is done. It's just on warm right now until I'm ready to deal with it. But I want to get that video going first. So I'm going to do this. And then I'll bring you upstairs while I get ready to put that video together. After I make the coffee. I just got back from my full-time job doing some overtime today. So give me a moment. Okay, guys, we're going to make some cauliflower rice for lunches this week. A little olive, uh, this is avocado oil. It's gonna go in here. And I'm gonna put a half of onion. The other half, I'll just put it in the oven. Um, for later, you, uh, on the oven, no, girl. I will put it in the refrigerator, uh, chop it up, and then I'll have it for later this week. Um, so I want to do some onion, I'm going to put some garlic, salt and pepper, and then I'm going to cook the cauliflower, and, and at the end, I will add some butter to it, just to give it some fat. That's it for that dish. Um, I have the pork, I have some pork already cooked, and then on the back burner here, I have a stick of butter melting, let's see if you can see it. There we go. I got a stick of butter going back there. We are going to make, or try to make, caramel sauce. Caramel sauce, what? But that's not keto, well it is. So this recipe calls for a stick of butter, a cup of heavy cream, five tablespoons of your sweetener, so I use Lancanto. You melt the butter and the sweetener, and you really are trying to brown your butter. Hold on, four, five. Okay, you're trying to brown your butter. Then you're going to, once it's you know cooked down and browned, you're gonna add the heavy cream, and then the last ingredient that you're gonna add is the butter. No, is the vanilla. Um, and I have a little whisk here just to stir it. So once it's melted, because you really want the sugar to melt. Um, the difference with this and actual like caramel sauce made with real sugar is that the real sugar will caramelize and this won't caramelize in that sense, which is why you're trying to brown your butter to um, get that caramel color and that kind of almost smoky taste to it. So right now I'm just cooking up my rice, cauliflower. I'm going to make this caramel and I'm going to portion out my pork into my five containers once the rice is cooked so I can clean that container up. This is just melting, nothing spectacular. Um, and when you put the cream in, you got to let it cook down and just keep stirring it until it reduces and you'll get a thicker a thick sauce. Um, the recipe says you can put the vanilla in while it's still boiling. I don't know that that's the case because I think that it will cook off your vanilla taste. So what I'm going to do is wait till it's done and the last thing I'm going to do before I take it off the heat is put the vanilla in. So I have my onion cooking. I'm going to throw some garlic in there too because, well, we all need garlic. The cauliflower and then I'll add salt and pepper. And I'll show you that when it's done. Well, I was taking you to the Dollar Tree, like you do, um, and this Dollar Tree didn't have anything good. I mean, they had their Halloween stuff out, tiny bit of Christmas, 
what I was looking for is that section of Crafter Square stuff. One of my Dollar Trees has a fairly decent section. One has it scattered throughout the store and then they have an end cap and then this one really has like nothing. There's a few things scattered about but they don't have um, all the things. So that was a bust. That's okay. We're finishing up this vlog so that I can get it loaded for Monday. I'm sorry it's not a cooking segment but I worked so much this weekend that I didn't get much else done. But I thought I would bring you something different. A little day in the life. A couple days in my life. It is 6.48. I am so tired. I'm going to go home. I got a new book to read that came from the library. I do that Overdrive app. And I need to look into Libby. I heard Libby does something different maybe. I'm not sure yet. But we're going to figure it out. It's another app. So I have Overdrive, but apparently Libby is a different app that you use your library card. So maybe they have different books that I don't have or that my library doesn't have on audio. I'm cheating with a little Diet Dr. Pepper, but I need some caffeine tonight. It's raining if you can't see behind me. And I'm ready to just relax. I have my lunch packed. I made a pork roast this morning. So I worked Thursday, Friday, all day yesterday. I went in at 9 o'clock and I got out at 9 o'clock at um, the Schottenstein Center where I have my part-time job. And I was supposed to work today, but um, my day job needed overtime and that's better for me. So I canceled last Thursday at, for today and I went in at 8 30 this morning and did like four hours of overtime and then I came home and I've been cooking I made I threw a pot roast in before I went to CVS to do my couponing this morning and then sorry I'm merging and this truck doesn't want to get over I threw a pork roast in with a bunch of seasonings this morning and that was done when I got home and I made some stir fried rice cauliflower with some onion and garlic and a little um, butter to go with my pork roast and I shredded excuse me I shredded the pork roast so that's lunch and then I think I told you breakfast I just cut up some cheese and some summer sausage which is an easy go-to breakfast for me on days that I'm just trying to get stuff done and so there wasn't a whole lot of um, prep, you know a lot of prep I'm, I'm home this week I have Luna uh, Sarah is going away on a conference and I will have Luna Dog from Tuesday to Friday. So that's exciting and um, yeah, not, I don't have a whole lot going on this week. It's work and I have physical therapy. I only have a couple more appointments left but they're going to do that dry needling again. It hurts but it works. That's what I got to say about that. And yeah, and then football next Saturday I work that it's a night game and then on the basketball season is getting ready to start and hockey so those are sports that I work at OSU men's basketball women's basketball ice hockey men's ice hockey and men's football so that's about it for today um, like I said it is 10 of 7 and I am there's no ugh, I can't even talk there's no shame in my game I'm going home to load that book onto my iPad it's a new book out and I can't wait to read it. I'm going to relax, have some hot tea, and read my book and get some sleep tonight because I'm really tired from the weekend. And I have such a fun DIY coming out Tuesday. I'm going to switch around my Dollar Tree haul and my DIY. So the DIY will go out Tuesday, the Dollar Tree haul will go out Wednesday. Um, I'll probably video it tomorrow night after work, I think. Get that video out get that video done i'm working on the diy one i'm so excited and i'm so proud of this one it turned out so good so i hope you enjoy oh we're on a bouncy road here i hope you enjoy the video today like comment subscribe um, it really helps
helps my channel and helps me bring more content. And thank you for everybody who entered in my 5,000 member giveaway. I heard from the winner. I'm emailing her package out this week and I'm super excited and we're almost at 6,000. Like that's crazy. Let's see if we can get to 10,000. That would be awesome. All right guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.